Yo, it was a close thing, a real close joint. Two votes for OT, three votes for Disaster. Right. West Coast. West Coast. But, but, because these motherfuckers are both so nice, what do you say? Or actually, because they're so mean. Because they're so mean and they really don't like each other like that. Yeah, you rap a Christian nation. I mean America. Like, what the fuck is this world coming to? Didn't your people kill Jesus, you motherfucking Jew? Yo, so you can go ahead and rap faster like that matters, but I just called you a Jew. So now everyone in Lebanon assumes you're a yellow rat bastard backstabber. Yo, so I don't give a fuck how loud you are, how big your fucking muscles are. I can't even tell if he's trying to raise an eyebrow or buff a car. <laughs> you're from a land where females don't even shave the upper arm, and the terrorist group known as the Hezbollah is in motherfucking charge. Hey, yo, so what's up with your eyebrows? They're fuzzier than an AM. Radio. I bet they can cut reception from the Bay to Ontario. Hey, yo, and y'all know disaster, the dude that spits faster, the only bitch of a rapper who screams a body bag, then loses a minute after. <laughs> yeah. It's organic, skinny fuck with hepatitis C. First baby Gerald, Maggie Simpson's unibrow, long lost enemy. Hey, yo, and when I speak about that show, your bitch looks like Lisa, but with a fatter nose. And she likes to blow on my horn and talk to my balls like my saxophone. Yo, man, listen, man. You try to trick your Mac on a fucking soundboard. That's just gonna haunt you forevermore. I can't believe you have the nerve to try to team up with my homie Wee Man on the message board. You and Hollahan together rapping look like He-Man and Skeletor. Yo, yo, this topic is so simple. Organic and Hollahan can never successfully drop a dope single, but if they do, it's because people confuse them for Rocky and Bo Winkle. Yo, is it me or do Canadians have the fakest clothes? Either way it goes, be sure to cop organic shit when it drops at your local Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. Yo, yo, this shit does not even make sense. I'll go off on this kid and stop on his wig with a big wrench just for looking like the vomiting bitch from the Sixth Sense. Yo, snap out of it, pussy, this is not a dream. We got better cars, farmer bitches, and we got the bomb screen. Fresh toast, we got a lot of scenes. From Del Mar and swim team to Thunder Hutto, what the fuck, we have a sicker hockey team. Yo, You're extremely scrawny. You're an insomniac smoking rocket crack, tweaking the eating coffee. I'm being attacked by a flesh eating Swedish zombie with the machinist body. Someone get this evil creature off me. No, no. You see, yeah, you're a host. That's because you're harboring diseases, probably. Either that or you're a fetus with cerebral palsy. No. Yo, listen, man, your teeth look like they're angry at me. For Christ's sakes, you're Canadian. Aren't braces for free? Oh, no. Snow being all he can be, like in forma. You know, shit that I'm a slob. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. In forma. You know, shit that I'm a slob. Me, I go play him. Organic liquor, boom, boom, down. Kick them all. I see, see that I'm a slob. Stop. Canadians are faggots. I like keep boom, boom, down. What's up? It's Intuition here, Battle of the Bay 5, Oakland, California. I am here with... Organic. Organic, the president of the King of the Dot League. We just got done watching you battle disaster. Very heated battle. I know you guys have a lot of history. Tell us a little bit about your mindset coming into this and what the history is. Um, you know, uh, I respect disaster. You know about this. I respect disaster. He's an incredible rapper. Um, basically, he was calling Canadian faggots. <laughs> and I just kind of like, you know, if you're going to say that, man, then like, I'll come to your face and you can say it to my face and I'll call you a faggot to your face and we're good. You know what I mean? Um, I don't like it when people are saying it when from so far away. So it's like, you know, only right that I come here and I hold down and try to do my best against them. How do you feel about your performance in the battle? I know that it did edged it out. It was a close battle. But how do you feel personally about yourself right now? Um, I, I know I can spit those verses a lot better. But it is what it is, man. You get in the battle. You get caught up in the moment. You get a little heated. And uh, especially someone like Disaster, man. Like, he's screaming in your fucking face. And my whole thing was, like, I'm not going to go screaming against him because it ain't going to work. I fell into that, though. And, you know, when uh, shadows to him, any other he had the good game plan I thought I did at first um, my first round didn't go near as well as I thought it would but it is what it is man you know I brought it back after that and 
just trying to get into it, man. And like I said, man, it's only my second ever written battle. I'm really new to this format. Um, I'm a freestyle rapper, but you know, I'm making the transition slowly. So hopefully my next one just raises the bar above this one. You know what I mean? That's all I'm looking to do is come and perform good. Win, lose, or draw, man. It's just a battle, you know? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't a loss losing to disaster. He's like top three in the world in my eyes, you know? And personally, one of my favorite battles is like, that's my style of battle. It's like a fight, you know what I mean? And I love that shit. There's no losers here. Only, the only winners are the fans. Um, so you're here on the turf, yeah. California. You're at a Battle of the Bay. How does this compare to a King of the Dot event? How do you oh, feel about it right now? It's amazing, man. Like, uh, look at the support, man. Like, how many people are out here, man. It's crazy. Toronto really holds it down good, too, man. Like, you know, uh, at our events, we usually pack around 300, but, like, the scene out here is so interactive, and everyone's, like, so, like, appreciative of what's going on, and they hold us down, man. Like, you know what I mean? I've been showing so much love since I've been here that it's, like, it's a good feeling, man. It's very comfortable, um, and, you know, I, I got mad love for California, man. Like, after coming here, man, I'm so comfortable coming back the next time and doing it again, hopefully catching a W instead of a L, you know? <laughs> Tell the people where to find you. Oh, cool, man. Just hype yourself up. Yeah, first off, man, I want to send a couple shout-outs, man. My family, friends, and supporters back in Canada, man. Y'all hold us down. It's nothing but love. Hollihan, Pat State, Poor Rich, my boy Jolly. I know, like, you're my biggest fan. My boy Daryl. I'm real upset you couldn't make it, but it's all good, man. It's nothing but support. Uh, my music, organichiphop.com. You know I'm about to have a lot of shit popping off. I'm more on that morbid death rap tip. But, you know, um, it's going to be coming, man. Like, you know, I'm just real happy to be here. So I respect all y'all for holding us down, you know? Well, hey, man, I want to say congrats on a good battle. Thank it's going to get a lot of views. Good yeah, job. Man. Thank you for the interview, man. Thank you, man. All right. I appreciate it. What's up? It's Intuition. We're here at Battle of the Bay 5 in Oakland, California, and I'm here with my man. Disaster. Disaster. We just got done watching you battle organic, a very heated yeah. battle. First off, I know there's a lot of tension between you guys from back in the days. Tell me a little bit about the history between you guys. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, first of all, like the whole thing with uh, me with me battling uh, organic, it was more of like a kind of like me versus Canada thing and the whole thing that, you know, the beef that started on the internet with me like getting mad at them, commenting on my videos, me responding, calling them faggots, you know what I mean? And basically it got to a point where they got fed up with it, you know what I mean? Lush and organic talk, we set up a battle, he came down here, you know what I mean? And uh, it was a really great matchup. I think it was really dope. It was pretty heated. You feel me? Uh, certain lines, you know, I had, I didn't use, I wasn't able to, but still, I think I pull, pulled through really good. Um, organic had a lot of fucking dope shit, you know what I mean? Like how the war shit, like when I had a couple of war jokes, he had like some war jokes after that. And it was, uh, it was a really great battle. You know what I mean? I feel like this is going to be another classic. And you know what I mean? Everybody was entertained as fuck. Definitely, it was a very heated battle. Now, you're known for being one of the most kind of animated, energetic, and just intense battlers in the grind time scene. Tell me, like, what mindset, like, especially tonight, you were angry as fuck. Tell me about the mindset that you get in when you're preparing for these battles and, like, how you get in that zone. Yeah, I mean, uh, basically, like, the, you know, like, battling, like, it has a lot of uh, aspects in it that factor into it besides actually, like, being lyrically inclined or whatever the fuck it is, punchlines. You also have to, like, deliver, when you deliver a punchline to somebody, you have to have a certain conviction behind to reach out to the people because you're sending out energy to the crowd and they have to be able to to grab it and receive it so when you animate and you show people visually you know i mean this is what this is the evolution of what battling became because battling used to always be on mics and it took away from the animation and the being able to just get loud as you want because of the mic so now this evolution allows us to like basically animate our lines show people visually some people are more visual than hearing something so when you just put that all together i think it's an explosive package you feel me and i think you know it plays a big part in my role you know what i mean when i battle definitely all right so Diz, now after this battle i want to know is the beef squash between king of the die how do you feel about canada now that you've got it all settled out of your system yeah fuck the motherfuckers no <laughs> real talk um basically like this is what battling is about you feel me and like of course not. Like a lot of cats think that it's like genuine hatred. It's not. And it, the, the reality of it basically like I got a lot of love for King of the Die and like basically I watch their battles a lot. And I think it's a compliment to us that we actually have leagues overseas actually doing this shit. And it's a great thing to see it expand and grow. And I wish them nothing but the best of luck. I think they're a fucking great division. And you know what I mean? They're still doing better than the Brits. <laughs> so, um, you know what I mean? I definitely think it's fucking, they're going to hate me now. Anyways, after this battle, basically, no, Canadians are not faggots anymore. They have unfaggoted themselves, and now the British are faggots. I'm coming, motherfuckers. <laughs> unfaggoted. Real hey, talk. You heard it here first. Canadians are now heterosexual, and the British, I, you know, he's accusing them of other things. All right, thanks, Diz. Tripping with a psycho. How I had your pussy dripping blood like a psycho.
And I know I can only get so far Plus I'm from the Bay so I'm stuck below those bars And I know you think we all flow below par But you gotta admit that I'm the sickest nigga so far Oh lord, where the fuck did he come from? Please don't stick me in a box with these dumb dums Um, and it's not just